Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here doing your nightly reading my darlings. Yay! This reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you Cancer. Just take what does resonate and leave the rest. Okay, I'm I'm being led to use a different deck you guys. <laughs> um yeah, I'm being led to use my baby deck. All right, so anyway, Cancer, I don't know what we're going to get. I, I'll probably pull like a few cards out of it and just get us started. Um, but yeah, they want me to use the baby deck, so we're going to wake her up, okay? Anyway, Cancer, thank you so much, you guys, for all of your support, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the love. Thank you guys for sticking with me every day. I love you. You're my family out here, my peeps. Okay, thank you so much, Cancer. I love you guys. So yeah, the baby deck, you guys, um, for those of you who are new here, this deck pretty much started the channel. It's a, it's a homemade deck. Um, and no, it is not for sale, you guys. It's, it's the only one in existence. So, you know, there, you can't put a price on it. Um, but let's see what the Divine wants you to know here. They're leading me to use this deck. All right, Divine, what messages do you have for Cancer? Messages for Cancer, that's too many. Messages for Cancer, please. What messages do you have for Cancer? This one wants to come out. What is that? Smoke screenings. Ah. Oh. Bringing your somebody's coming in and stressing you out, Cancer. I feel like you may even know all. Yeah, it's no. Nope, this is somebody coming back around. Thank you, Divine. And it's gonna come very suddenly. All right. Um, this is like a tower moment, but this is just something that's suddenly happening. Or somebody, yeah, somebody's having a tower moment here. They want to come back around, but they're not gonna be telling you the full story all they know is they've got to do something they've got to take some kind of action do or do not there is no try yeah they they've got to do something and they don't have any time left i get the feeling like um this person's got a mess in their own life that they're dealing with here and they're gonna come in and not tell you the full truth okay and i feel like it's gonna stress you out it's gonna really stress you out cancer what else can you show me here for cancer? Because I feel like you really, I feel like you want this person. They definitely want you. Um, they're seeing you as their healer, the only one that they want to run to, cancer. You're the only one that they want. Um, I feel like, they're, you know, this is not a sexual card, guys. This is a healing card, right? Um, this person who feels depleted, they fall into the arms of this woman here. And just with a single touch, you make this person feel better. Okay? And I feel like you're just, you're, uh, they see you as a healer now. I feel like this person's having some kind of awakening, honestly. But the problem is they've got something that's going nutty in their life. Um, behind the scenes and they do not want to tell you the full story that's why they're sitting here with their head in their hands like crying right like what am I going to do I've got to do something because I need cancer's touch I need cancer's touch right now it's like a need for this person and I feel like you know they <sighs> With the magician out here, I feel like they've got all the tools that they need to come in. All they have to do is be honest, but that's the that's what this person doesn't want to do. They don't want to be honest. Yeah, see, they're keeping a secret. I'm telling you, they've got a secret. They could have somebody else. It says the other guy, but they could have they could have met somebody new, Cancer, because this is my this is my new cookie card, or that could be you meeting somebody new but I feel like it's a, that's a secret that they're keeping they got with somebody new but then why do they want to come back to you right I feel like they met someone new and they could have found out some I, I don't know why I don't know why this person is in a mess all of a sudden whoever they got with instead of you yeah not they want to get out of that situation Oh, they want to get out of it bad because you're their wish fulfillment. 
Yeah, there. I feel like this person's in love with you, Cancer. I feel like they're in love with you. And I feel like you, you can feel this person's energy coming through, okay? But they, I feel like they met somebody else here. Clarify this other guy for Cancer. Um, I, and it says other guy, but um, it could be, it, it's not gender specific. Yeah, I feel like this person's juggling you with somebody else. And they're realizing here very quickly that they're in love with you. I feel like this person met somebody new. Okay. And um, yeah, they've, yeah, man. They want to hide that from you, Cancer, but they're going kind of crazy right now. Definitely, they don't want to tell you what this is. They don't want to tell you. Um, clarify the other guy, the big cookie, one more time. Clarify the new cookie one more time. Yeah, they could have gotten with a Queen of Swords energy who's very toxic. This could be a commitment that they're in, actually, okay? Because they feel very stuck wherever they are. And it's a flipping mess wherever they are. They're dealing with the, um, you know, Queen of Swords, in, in a good positive energy, she's somebody who just wants the truth. She's somebody who definitely feels like she's being betrayed. But I'm feeling this toxic energy off of this Queen of Swords. Like, this is some somewhat of a bully this is somebody who may have some mental health issues. This is somebody who flies off the handle for any, anything. Um, somebody very controlling. Somebody who's very harsh with their communication. And I feel like this is who this person is with now. And they feel like they got themselves stuck. Okay? So I don't know if it's somebody new or... This is who they were with in the past. It feels like they had somebody new. Um, clarify this. Queen of Swords and the Devil. And the new cookie. Hold on. I just screwed up my deck. Yeah, I feel like they've been, they could have been with this person for six or seven years, actually. But, man, I feel like they've got somebody new also. Yeah, they know this is coming to an end. This is a cycle that's coming to an end. They can see it. They can see it ending. But they're really afraid of this Queen of Swords. I got to say, they're afraid of confronting who they're with. They know it's coming to an end. They're, they're trying. I feel like they're trying to figure out a way to end this right because they want a new beginning with you here, Cancer. This person wants a new beginning with you. They want you. They want their healer. They want they want their empress in the minor arcana, the one that they're in love with. I feel like you guys are, you can pick up on this energy. You just can. You can pick up on this. Something could have happened around um, uh, New Year's. Okay? They could have had this epiphany or this awakening on New Year's. Wanting to manifest you, trying to manifest you back in. But you're, you're ending a cycle here too. Everybody is ending the cycle. Okay? You're ending it the right way, Cancer, because you put forth the effort. And your person situation is ending kind of in a crappy way with a tower moment. Um, a slam door on this person. And the death card. Okay? And I feel like it's just meant to be that this situation here is toxic. It's, it's a karmic situation and it needs to close out. Okay? And they can see it happening. They know it's coming and they're dreading it. They're trying to find the strength. I feel like this is your person's energy. Trying to get the strength and the courage here to close this out because they really want to come towards you here, Cancer. Um... You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus. Um, I don't know why I said Taurus here. Um, yeah, heavy Scorpio energy, Capricorn, um, Leo. They could be dealing with a, a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
I've got Virgo energy, Aries with the magician. More Virgo energy, I feel, with this uh, Fool card here. Yeah, this person wants to come back around for sure. Um, I feel like they've been getting tarot card readings on you as well. Possibly paying somebody, a practitioner, trying to find out what to do. Maybe um, how you feel about them, what's going on with you. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. Cancer, this person does not want to let you go. They feel stuck, but they're having this awakening. I, I feel like something happened to them on January 1st, on New Year's. I feel it was New Year's Eve. Something happened to this person very suddenly that caused them to have this awakening and um, see everything clearly, okay? This is like a light bulb going off. They cannot let you go. They could have gotten a tarot card reading that night. Honestly, they could have gotten a reading that night, paid somebody to do it, a practitioner. Um, that's what I'm feeling like. They paid for a tarot card reading. What were they told in this tarot card reading? What was this person told? Let me get a different deck. Yeah, I feel like they were they paid for a reading here. And they got some answers. I feel like it really woke this person up. It woke them up. Um, what were they told in the tarot card reading? What was this person told? That you're the empress. That soon you're going to have a lot of other options around you. That you're the high priestess, very connected to the divine. Yeah, this person walked away feeling like crap afterwards, thinking about you. All they did that night was think about you and feel angry because the cancer's getting away. They're gonna, you're going to go with somebody else. You've got new options that are literally, you're attracting them like a, like a magnet. That you're very intuitive. Um... High Priestess Energy, they could have told this person that you're keeping all of your options a secret. Yeah, they walked away from that reading feeling like crap, Cancer, and they couldn't stop thinking about you. This is how they, this is how they started their new year. Angry, too, knowing the truth, hearing this truth, not wanting to let anybody near you because you're this person's wish fulfillment. Yeah, man, they were told you're about to get new options. Uh, they, some of these people could be told that you're buying a new home. Some of these people were told that you've got all of this abundance, that you're having a victory in life, that you're about to get new love, that you're moving forward. Yeah, they were. that's what this high priestess told them. And meanwhile, they're in a toxic situation, like I said, with this Queen of Swords. I cannot make it up, you guys. I cannot make it up. I feel like when this person, like, on, uh, as, of July, as of January 1st, this person was acting so differently after hearing this news cancer that whoever they're with is now demanding the truth. Like, what is going on? Why are you acting like this? You want to go towards cancer, don't you? That kind of thing, okay? They realize they're getting burned here in with the with the devil. That may be what the hype, what this um, tarot card reader told this person as well. Yeah, they now they cannot get you off of their mind. They they got some kind of information about what is coming for you in the future, and um, yeah, they're angry about it. They're angry. They don't want any other options near you. Um, they don't want anyone else to, to have you. I kind of get the sense, too, all of a sudden. Sorry, guys. I picked up on the energy that they could be blaming this Queen of Swords for the mess that they're in. Okay? They could be blaming the Queen of Swords. Like, it's their fault. Um... I feel like this person chose the devil, and it, it's they need to take accountability for their own actions. 
And I feel like most of the day on January 1st, all they did was sit on the edge of a bed and flip and cry. That's, you know, because they just want to come back around. They don't want you with anybody else, Cancer. They don't want you with anyone else. And I feel like, yeah, they're blaming the karmic for this. They're angry. They want to keep everyone away from you. They can't get to you fast enough. If they come forward now... I feel like this person may be lying to you. Yeah, their whole world is crumbling, man, because you're moving on. I'm telling you. And as you move on, it's almost like the rumble of you leaving this energy is what's causing this tower. Okay? You're moving on. You're like, I'm done with this. And you're... Um, you're doing it with the determination of an emperor. I feel like you guys are in masculine and feminine energy right now. Just really strong, tough as nails, determined to have a victory, determined to move on with your life, wanting to be out of this energy. Yeah, this is that's what this is. Wanting to be out of this energy, and then this came and fell on top of it. Yeah. You want your enthusiasm back. You, you, want, um, you want things to start moving for you. You're done waiting for this person um, while they try to decide between two different people here, you and somebody else. Okay, you're done with that energy. I feel like you're moving forward. You're getting this um, fire about you, like enthusiasm, right? Knowing you've got great things coming to you in the future. Yeah, they're, they're working with other people here. And it's like, I, I'm hearing, I don't care. Yeah. You're making the decision here. You're blocking out this energy. You're done. You're done. Sit they left you sitting in the Two of Swords for so long, Cancer. Okay? And the fact that you've been kept in the dark, you've been lied to, you don't know if this person's going to come in lying or not, Right? It's been stressing you out, and I feel like you're just, you're sick of this energy, right? And that's why you're deciding to change it. You're deciding to change this energy for you because you don't want to feel like this anymore. You're sick of the stress. You're sick of the sadness. You're tired of sitting around. Are they going to talk to me? Are they not, are they not going to, you know, what is going on? You're tired of that energy, man. This could be your twin flame, but I feel like this is a decision. I feel like a snake got in the way of this connection. If it's a twin flame soulmate connection, the divine isn't going to be, their divine is up here like, what is going on? You see? What's going on here? Why is the snake still here? We're going to open this pit, let the snake fall in. I'm telling you, that cycle's over. But I feel like you guys have made um, a decision to move forward. You've made a decision to move on. So you could be um, a divine feminine, definitely a healer, right? You've got that magic touch. You do. That's the, that's the touch they want back. They miss your touch, Cancer. Um, and they feel like you may be the only one that they can talk to about all this, but they can't get to you right now. Because they're dealing with a very angry Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, this person, they underestimated you, Cancer. I feel like they just didn't see who you were. You're, you're their twin flame and they saw you as a peasant. And I feel like you're just like, I can't stay in this energy anymore. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So yeah, you're moving on. You're moving on. And I feel like all of what I'm saying here, that's what was told to this person by the tarot card reader, okay? Or you could be a, a tarot card reader. I take it how it resonates with you, but yeah, they, this was, yeah, this is self-sabotage. It's self-sabotage, but I feel like they're so distraught, they're so upset, they're so, they have so much anxiety that they're actually blaming the karmic individual that they chose over you, okay? I feel like they're blaming somebody else. 
for causing you so much pain. You know, this person sabotaged themselves, but they're projecting all of the blame onto the toxic person that they're with. And I feel like it's because they're afraid of that person that whoever they're with is coming across as a bully. I got to say, they're coming across as a bully. Now this person wants to change it. They want to do anything they can to turn this around. You could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aquarius maybe, Gemini. I've got Gemini out here. Yeah, they're heartbroken. All of the heartache that they caused you um, is coming right back on them, Cancer. Yeah, this is, be, this is doing a lot of crying here and here. Yep, they're feeling like a fool because this is it's over and they're getting their karma. This is karma dancing on top of this person. They had plenty of time. They had just enough time to change things in their life just like anybody else did. They had the same amount of time. They're getting the same messages. They, they are, they've got intuition. They could have done something to change this, but their fear of confronting this bully queen of swords here in this toxic situation, it, 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 that's what sabotaged this, is their fear, possibly their arrogance in the beginning, and their poor mistake, like they made a really bad mistake. Uh, you know, they, it, it was a huge mistake here. They should have chosen you, and they chose the devil instead. Big mistake. And now karma's are right on top of them, sticking their tongue out like, this is what you get, yeah, for being a fool, for acting a fool, for being risky, for um, taking risks with your love and this connection. Yep. Karma is dancing on this person, I'm telling you. Um, let's see. What do I want? Let's see what they may have to say to you. Okay, actually, I want to use this deck. All right. Let's see what they may have to say to you. What does this person want to say to Cancer? What does this person want to say to Cancer? Yeah, they certainly don't want to tell you everything, you know. Um... But they want to come towards you, man. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. What did I just say? It's smoke screening. They don't know how to tell you the truth. They, they do want this new beginning. My life is not as together as it seems. This person could be like posting things online. Uh, that look like they've got everything together and they're happy, but behind the, behind closed doors, Cancer, they're with a toxic bully. Okay? You are the best thing in my life. I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. I see you in the face of strangers. You're always with me. Time has brought me clarity about us. So what did I say? January 1st came around and boom. It was like a light switch that went off in this person's head. They see everything clearly now. I made the wrong choices. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? Yeah, I knew you were right, but couldn't admit I couldn't admit it to myself or you. Yeah, you could have said something to this, to this person when they abandoned you and left you behind. You could have said, you could have warned them. What are you doing? You're leaving behind your happiness for the devil. Something like that, right? They didn't believe you at the time. They know now you were right about that. Yeah, Cancer. Anyway, Cancer... Um, this person wants to come towards you really bad, Cancer, but right now they're, they're going to tarot for information about you. If they come to you now, they know they're going to have to keep some things from you. Um, 
and they're still stuck in a toxic situation where they're afraid of the person that they chose over you. Okay, so yeah, if if they were to find out that I, I feel like they are finding out that you're about to get new love, new options coming towards you, and they're really, really angry about that. They don't want you with anybody else. They are getting tarot card readings on you, um, but um, they blame whoever they're with for this. And until they until they face this, confront the karmic individual that they're with, and break free from that, there really isn't a whole lot this person can do. They've got to they've got to put forth the effort. They've got to confront this this karmic situation. Otherwise, they really are about to lose you to something else or someone else. Okay? It's coming for you. They're, they're upset, man. Anyway, Cancer, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you dig this vibe and you want to join the awesome soul tribe, right? And until next time, everyone, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.